for another hunt. Yeah, guys, we are heading out back into the Million Acres. Uh, you probably know where that is. Um, and we are really pumped because last time we were there it would have been mid start mid winter. Now we're getting into uh, spring. So uh, yeah, there'll be some few changes in scenery and uh, hopefully we'll stumble across them. This time we decided we wanted to find a spot that was more open, more flat and generally had more pig sign. And we found a spot like that. We snuck around in the car, nice and quiet, to find a spot where we could park and start walking. Suddenly, right in front of me, I spot a big black boar. It's very windy, so he hasn't hurt us yet, but uh, that also means it's easy for him to catch our scent. We quickly get on our knees and uh, figure out a plan. I knock an arrow on the bow and... just came here and I saw, uh, I saw a pig just 10 meters away in the pig brush. We bent down, he didn't see us. I knock an arrow on the bow and he's coming over here and I feel the wind in my back going towards him and I'm like, fuck, he's gonna, he's gonna catch my scent soon, and which he did. He sniffed me, ran away. Didn't look like he ran very fast or ran very far, but we only been out for 10 minutes. So we gotta see more pigs. Um, but he looked like a he looked like a, a good boar. He's a big boy, wasn't he? Yeah, he's a big boy. So continue, and see what happens. to another location in the same place but just on the other side and it was a nice drive here um, we looked along the way to see if we could see anything but um no this is where we are
Also when we're out hunting, I love seeing the other wildlife and I love exploring the flowers and I love seeing what else pops up. It was a really windy day, but at the same time, it was warm and comfortable. Along the way we found some pretty good spots, um, like this waterhole. When you come to a waterhole like that, the first thing you want to do is you want to look around the water, because there could easily be pigs laying around and other critters, especially when it's hot. So when you see water, the way you approach it has to be really quiet, scan the area and then decide where you want to come in from. On our hunt we ended up seeing some black cockatoos, they were really pretty and we just stood there and watched them a little while. Hey guys, so we just sat down for about 15-20 minutes and just had some lunch. Um, just a little break as well. And now we're heading back towards the car. But we're also going to have another look around, see what's out there, see what pops up. Fingers crossed and stay tuned guys. Hey guys. Hey guys. So we uh, made it back to the car. Um, we did a huge loop around here. 
uh, didn't see anything unfortunately. Uh, it looked like the country was some parts was some parts was open. Some, some parts, parts were wet. There was a little riverbed. Yeah. Some parts were really really narrow, so we we're walking very tight. Yeah, thick scrub. Yeah. Especially the last part here, um, but it is a huge forest. Critters can be literally everywhere. And anywhere. Um, we were just lucky then we get, when we get out of the car when we first came here this morning 10 minutes after we saw a big boar um, that's how it goes sometimes uh, but yeah we're gonna pack up now head home today was just like a um, shorter day trip to get out and explore one of our old good spots even though it's a new um, new location on the same spot today next time we're gonna come in the afternoon yeah about lunchtime or something yeah and stay until dark or something yeah. so catch you guys later thanks for watching